Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Georgia. So today I'm actually reacting to a new person. I think he's called like Russell Peters and I'm pretty sure I was recommended him in my comments. That's where I got him from. But yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to react to somebody new today. So yeah, I'm reacting to his video called like Russell Peters on accents, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, let's get on with the video. I'm gonna let out a secret about Indian people. For all the people here, or all the people watching, whoever, wherever you are, if you're not Indian, this is a message to you on behalf of all Indian people. I hope my brown people don't get upset that I'm letting out our secret. <laughs> but just so you guys know, Indian people are fully aware of what their accent sounds like. <laughs> we don't actually need you. <laughs> We know exactly what it sounds like. We know it's not the coolest accent in the world, you know? You're never gonna see two Indian guys in a club standing around going, hey man, aren't we cool? Don't, don't we sound really hip? We are going to meet all the bitches tonight. Do you know what? I actually love it so much when like, when people can just sort of, just take the mic out of like, themselves in a way, or even just like, accents in general like i just love accent jokes people just take the make out of accents i just find it hilarious and especially when people just do it in a light-hearted fun way like he is i just find it i just love like his style of what he's doing right now i just think it's hilarious <laughs> hip. we are going to meet all the bitches tonight <laughs> i'm pimping <laughs> it's not gonna happen you know we know what it sounds like, you know? <laughs> and don't think for one minute that we don't know that you're mocking us when we're not around. <laughs> it's an accent, we're not deaf. <laughs> don't think when we walk into Home Depot and go, hello, I'm looking for paint. <laughs> yeah, it's right down that aisle over there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jim, did you hear that guy? He's looking for paint. <laughs> paint. <laughs> paint. <laughs> Hey, let's go have a cigarette and talk like this for half an hour. Uh, <laughs> we know you're doing it, you bastards. <laughs> but Indian people know what their accent's good for and what it's not good for. We know it's limitations. You know what I mean? We know it's not good for, for getting laid. <laughs> it's not going to help you. Hello, baby. <laughs> Nothing's going to happen for you. But you know what the Indian accent is good for? Cutting tension. You got a tense situation, pop in the Indian accent. <laughs> Tension's gone. Picture a serious courtroom drama. <laughs> Your Honor, my client <laughs> would like to plead guilty. <laughs> Do you know what though? The thing is with accents in general, I feel like even with my accent, like, I don't know, I've heard, like, from any Americans watching, you might not get it, because f from, a, I've heard that, like, some Americans in my comments have actually said I sound quite posh, but in England, that's not so much the case, like, people say, I mean, I went to uni, and a lot of my friends said I sound like a farmer, I sound, like, I live in the city, for, for one, right, and pe because of my accent, people say, like, oh, you sound like a farmer, you know, do you ride a tractor, like, <laughs> <laughs> do you go and sit in a field with cows like people this is what I get with my accent I just feel like it's, it must, must just be because I'm from I'm from the southwest of England and because I pronounce my r's and stuff I sound quite like r so I sound like a farmer they think or just people think in general and that's the thing I find with like accents that there's always like a stereotype or like a category with it that's always just funny like it, it's just funny how that just seems to be like a thing but I don't know like with what he's saying with like situations I'm trying to think of a situation in which like my farmer kind of accent in England wouldn't kind of like fit in and or like it would I don't know if anyone if anyone could think of anything for me with my accent like what he's saying what like situation it would sound sound funny in like he said in the courtroom and stuff then please tell me because I feel like with, uh, with like things that I get with my accent, there must be, there must be something. But yeah, sorry to go on a long ramble on about accents, but yeah, I just find it is a thing that people do like to talk about accents a lot and find, they find them funny. So yeah, and mine is that I get called a farmer. 
with mine, even though I live in the city. Or that, no, I don't live in the countryside. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to stop going on about it now. <laughs> Would like to plead guilty! <laughs> Tension's gone. <laughs> but white people, let me talk to you for a minute. White Canadian people, especially. Canadian white people, when I say Canadian, I mean you're Canadian, your parents are Canadian, your grandparents are Canadian, you're really Canadian. <laughs> Canadian white people, you have an accent. And they're completely oblivious to it. <laughs> you do? I don't know if you're aware of it, sir. <laughs> You may not have it, you look like a rich Canadian white guy. I don't know, you know what I mean? You're a minority. Um, <laughs> but Canadian people have an accent. And it's funny when you watch white Canadian people talk, especially white Canadian guys, they have this funny ass way of talking. They talk, the way they speak, they make everything sound like it's the most matter of fact thing you've ever heard in your life. And when they talk to you, it looks like they can't control their head. It looks like they're part bobblehead when they say stuff to you. Because they'll come up to you and they'll go, Jesus Christ. Do you know what? I've never even been to California or America and even I, even I know what he's talking about. Jesus Christ. Load of the jugs on that one. They do. It's funny to watch. And white people are sitting there going, "Now we don't have an accent. What are you talking about?" I can prove to you, white folks, that you have an accent. Mm -hmm. I've heard that a lot, especially with like RP English, like people in England who speak with the RP accent. They seem to think that like they don't have an accent. Like when I go around like posh people or people who speak in the RP accent, because I don't have the RP accent. But like people are like, I don't have it. I, I don't have I don't have an accent. And I'm like, you do. <laughs> you do, you have the RP accent. Yeah, so on the topic of Californians, the only thing I've ever heard is that like they can't say the word about. They say like a boot. Do you know what I mean? Not like that, but like a boot. They say a boot, not about. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. I have an accent. What are you talking about? I can prove to you, white folks, that you have an accent. It's a pretty bold statement for a brown man. But I can prove to you. White people, when you swear, you sound like donkeys. You do, because you'll say stuff like, Fuck Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk funny man it's okay so yeah i think that's the end of that video do you know what i actually really like his style of doing it like he kept it quite simple but it was really like simple and effective like it was quite a funny way of doing it so yeah it was nice short and sweet video to react to so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and please turn on the notification bell. Goodbye!